video we are going to continue working on this chunky monkey envelope storage journal whatever you want to call it um, the only thing i done um, after I turned the camera off was I did put um, some of this little popcorn lace right down the um, where the back um, spine paper meets the um, cover and so today we're actually going to be doing the envelopes um, i have got seven papers picked out because that's how many um, envelopes is going to be in this journal and so let's go ahead and just get started um, i have already cut um, or punched five of them so that we didn't have to take that long um, so the papers are cut at eight and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. And so for my punch board, the measurements will be at three and three quarters is the first one. Ah. And then I'm just going to do my little line. And then you turn it until it lines up with the um right down here and guys i'm too weak for this <laughs> uh maybe i should have done all of them off camera and then you just line it up again until it lines up with that line there really oh my goodness guys y'all are seeing me struggle Okay, we only have one more to do, guys. Thank goodness. And I'm just gonna round the corner there. Let's see if we can do this and without it killing me or me. I'm gonna turn this a little closer to me because I think that's part of my problem. I don't know. There's no telling what the actual problem is. Y'all know me. But if I can blame it on it being far too far away from me, that's exactly what I'll do. All right, we're almost done with this part. Thank goodness. And then just lining this up again. And if you don't have an envelope punch board, you can use regular envelopes to do this. Um, it's not a problem. Um, I like making my envelopes so that I can, you know, get everything matching and it just makes it easier when I'm sewing them in as well and you'll see. All right, thank goodness that's all for that. Ugh. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to go through and fold each of my envelopes. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. And I need to see so that's good because normally um, I make my envelopes a little bit different size and this is normally um, too long and I'm thinking I'm still may end up cutting that off I'm not sure just yet but we will get that figured out at some point whether we're going to leave that point like that or trim it off we will probably end up trimming it off because we'll be putting stuff in and out of these envelopes and I don't want it to catch and then, you know, eventually rip. So we'll probably end up trimming it, but we'll know for sure in a little bit. 
So you just close your short sides first and then the longer one that is not rounded and then the top one. And we are not going to glue these envelopes together yet. We don't do that until we have already sewn the envelopes into our journal. That's one reason why I like making my own envelopes because the bottom's open and it makes sewing in so much easier. And so you can, you know, and um, the only thing I will suggest on this is if you don't want to make it this size, you can make it smaller or larger, but I would use an odd number of envelopes to do it. It just makes the spacing work out much better when you have an odd number. So um, I normally do five, but we went up to seven for this one. I want to do one that's got like nine in it. And I'm, we'll see. I'm, I'm probably going to end up doing it. I just don't know when. I just want to see how chunky it would be. And I don't know. All right, so now that we've got that, let's get them all together first and let's see how they will fit inside of the journal. Oh yeah, look at that. Ha, ah, love it. Okay, so I do think I want to cut this off and I probably should get something to measure to cut, but y'all know me, I'm not going to. So I'm just going to cut it like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, which is a good thing because we know that I would never get it perfect. I just don't want that part to get in the way as I'm putting stuff in and out and then it rip. And I have had that happen before. So I would rather just get it off and be done with it. You know, you can take just a small piece of it off. You don't have to do as much off as I'm doing, or you can even take more off if you want to. Um, it's totally up to you. All right, so that's done. All right, so now what I need to do, I probably need to pause you guys and get my, um, well, I've got some right here, I think. Let's see if I've got what I need right here. If I don't, I can, no, I'm going to have to pause you guys because I need to get my, um, my all. I thought I might have had everything right here, but, well, what is this? That'll work, I think. And then let's get some wax because I do like to wax mine. Got a piece of wax there. And I think that will work. All right. So I have cut me a template right here. And I just went into Canva and um, spaced it out evenly. And then done it just like that. So what I've done is I've done my spaces evenly across. And then I put my three lines down. And so now I need to find some clips. So I may still have to pause you guys. Because I don't know what I done with my clips. Oh, here they are. I'm just kidding, guys. I know where they're at. All right. I'm getting my clips, maybe. And I'm dropping everything. Oh, my goodness. Guys. I'm literally dropping everything. All right, so I'm just going to make sure that I've got this centered up. And I am just going to put this right here so I can make sure that I have it where it needs to go. All right, so I will punch holes in each of these cross spots but i want to make sure one two three four five six seven yes yeah. so i'm not doing it in the outside one but i'll do it in all of the others 
And so that's what I'm going to do right now. And I could use my crocodile big bite, but it is with all my other stuff that I've put up and don't know where I put it. Mm -hmm. I told you guys that's what I do. So I am just literally just running this through. And I will probably speed this part up. Um, and I'll come back when I've got the holes punched all the way through this. Okay guys, so I've got all of my holes punched in the actual spine. So you can see them there. They're all nice and even. So the next thing now that I need to do is I need to figure out um, what order I want my envelopes to go in. So let's do that. And then we will get to work on the other part. All right, so let's see here. I have some darker ones, I have some lighter ones, so I wanna kind of mix it up. So let's do like that, maybe that, then that. Um, let's go with that one, then this one and then this one all right so this is how they're going to go so i am actually i like to start with the back because it is much easier when you start with the back because you don't have to um work around the others and so i'm just going to take my little um template here that i've got and i'm just going to line it up on that bottom where it um, folds right there and I want to make sure that I kind of split the difference between top and bottom and you know what I'm going to do this is six and three quarters I'm actually going to trim this just a little bit so that I can make sure that I have it lined up properly. So I'm gonna cut like an eight off on the top and the bottom. And that should get me at my six and three quarters. So now I can take this and I can line it up right there with that, just like that. And I'm just going to put a little going to take my pen and mark the um, hole so I can make sure to see where it goes and see I'm glad I didn't poke the hole because I wasn't lined up completely on that line so that's why I'm glad I went ahead and done it like that All right, I'm still not completely on the line but it's okay because I can kind of go right there right there and right there. Okay, so I've got my holes punched. So now I need to get me some thread. Ah, I didn't get a needle. So I normally do about three times the length of whatever it is that I'm sewing. And I may still have to pause you guys and grab, no, it's right here. Let me grab a needle out of my little sewing kit here. Trying to grab one. Okay. So what I do, even though I used wax thread, I always do, I still like to take and I like to run it through the wax. 
because the wax really helps hold it all together. All right, so now I'm just going to thread my needle or attempt to with my blind eyes. All right, so I get this. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the middle hole to pull it through. Then I always take one of my clips and I clip it on that the um, bottom right there. And that's just so that I don't accidentally pull it through. So I want to make sure that I've got this up the right way and I'm going to go in that middle hole on that last um, spot. And then I'm just going to pull. Then I'm going to go up through my top hole just like that. And then I'm going to bring it through the top hole on my envelope. Trying to find it. And normally if I'm not filming, I'll just like pull it up close to me so I can see it really good, which may be what I end up having to do still. Because I can't see, but there we go. So then you pull it through the top, just like that. Then you're going to bring this on this side, then go all the way down through the bottom and then make sure you get through the bottom on the last spot on that um, on the spine there. Okay. And then you're going to go back through the middle, but make sure do not split your thread because if you do, you won't be able to tighten it. So you want to go on the just make sure to go in beside the thread and not through the thread. And then you want to make sure that you come up on the opposite side that that tail is on. So see, now it's in between it. And now I'll take that off. And then I like to tighten it real good. I like to make sure it's nice and tight back here. Pull it one more time and then I'm going to double knot it. And because it has that wax on it, it's going to really hold. And then because this is in the envelope, I don't worry about cutting it too short. I'll just leave a little bit. And then all you have to do now is close your envelope. So now you just get some glue and you're going to glue right along the, this edge right here and right here. Close your envelope and then there you go. And then I always make some sort of a tuck or a closure. We may even do Velcro on this. I don't know for sure yet, but we will um, figure that out. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off camera and I am going to go ahead and sew my other envelopes in. And then we will come back once I've got them all sewn in. Okay, guys, I am back and I have put all of the envelopes in. Look how pretty that looks. And I went ahead and I done some plastic um, snaps on the envelopes. Um, just whoever um, is going to get this um, little journal, just be very careful when you're opening your snaps because this is paper. So I would suggest kind of getting your thumb on the snap and then opening it. Um, because you don't want to tear your paper with those snaps and it could all right so let's go ahead and do a couple more things to the cover and then we'll call this video done for the day um, i think i want to put just looking i may actually i want to put some of these um corners on it I believe so I'm going to do that and then I may even put 
one of um, these little things on it. Um, it comes with the screws and all, but I'm not real sure I'm going to screw it down. And then the other thing that I am thinking about, um, I'm wondering if I should have done that. Probably should have done that before I put the papers on so that I could have glued it down, but it'll be okay like that. So let's just see what we can do. Let me look at this. Let's see if I want to do this first before I even attempt it. So I think this would be really cute to have this in here. I think I'm going to. I may regret doing it, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, let me get that little poker thing out again. And I can't really put it in the middle because of, but I can put it real close. So we're going to put it like right here. So I'm just poking a hole, maybe. Remember, I have that Tyvek and all, so it is difficult. All right, so now let's see if we can get this in there. Hopefully, I've got the hole big enough. I don't know if I did or not. But we're going to try. Probably should have done the hole a little bigger, but I was afraid if I did, I didn't want it to be too big. But I cannot get this little thing in. So we're going to try it one more time. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to turn it to where I can fold these up and down. And there, that's out of the way. All right, let me snap this back. So when you're snapping this, you'll just need to be very careful. All right, so there's that, and you can hang a dangle from it. And I don't know if I have my pliers right here. That will be the other question. So we may have to wait. You know what I can use? I think I can use it anyway. Let me grab it. It is the little thing that you punch the, um, you use to put the snaps on. I think we can use that. We're going to attempt it anyway. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit of glue in there. Not much, but then as I said that, I just like oversaturated it. Oh well, guys, y'all know how I am. And I'm just trying to get it to where that paper will be down in there. I like it, I like it. Looking good. Then I'm going to kind of think how I want to do this. So I don't have my pliers right here. That's working. Looks like it is. That is so cute, guys. Loving it. All right, let's do this one. Again, I'm going to try not to put a whole bunch of glue. But I can't really see it, so I don't know how much I'm getting in there. Probably getting way too much in there, but... Oh, well, y'all know how I am, so put it on there, get it squeezed good, and then we'll use this little thing and just kind of squeeze it on down. Normally use my little pliers for this, but since I didn't bring them in here with me, we are making do. Two more. Let's see. I think I got some glue. I hope I got glue in there. I don't know. I can't tell if I even got glue in there. 
I'm sure I got some in there, maybe, hopefully. All right, so there's that one. And we just need one more. Glue. Let's see if we can get this one on. Well, did y'all see that? I about put it on backwards. Okay, we got them on, I think. Let's rub it down one more good time. All right, so there's that. Oh, that is looking so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. All right, I don't know if I want to use these little screws or not. So let's take a look. I'm thinking I'm probably not going to use these. Those just go way far down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue that on. Put these up because I will lose them. Y'all know I will. All right, so I think we're going to, now do I want to put it down here or up here? Let's put it up there. And I think I'm just going to attempt to kind of glue it down. And that's one thing with me using the Fabri-Tac. It does glue this kind of stuff pretty good. So we're just going to kind of glue along the edge. And then those two places where you would actually put the screws if you were to use the screws. And I'm just going to put it right there. And then you can take a little um, tag or card and put down in there and put journal or, you know, whatever it is that you want it to say. So I think, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. I think we will call this video done. But look how cute that is, like when it's standing up. Look at all of those envelopes. Ah, oh, I'm loving this. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So, yeah, that's it, guys, for today, and we will come back um, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Um, I do have a couple of other videos I need to work on, but we will go ahead and get this done pretty quickly, and um, I'll get it in my Etsy store as soon as we get it finished, and I will give you guys a date and time that it will be available in my Etsy. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.